Hi there, Dr. Gary here on the road. Dr. Gary, um, today's topic is the seller asks, why can't I use the same dental contract to sell my second practice that I used last time? Well, this is an interesting topic, and we're going to get into that, why you can't use the same one. Even though it was prepared by a dental attorney, it was a great contract. So let's go into that in a minute. Anyway, this is Dr. Gary, Dr. Gary on the road. I'm a dentist, was also a dentist for 25 years, and now a dental practice broker. Name of our company is Healthcare Practice Sales, LLC. We sell dental practices for the past 11 years. I was a dentist for 25 years, and we have a staff of eight employees now and two CPA accounts. We're in 19 states. Our contact information is 201-663-0935. And our uh, website is dentalpracticeguide.com. All the information you're about to hear is for entertainment purposes. It's not legal or business advice. We're available 363 days a year. I take off Christmas and Easter. And... Uh, Call us anytime. We're available from 7.30 a.m. to 9.30 p.m. Although we answer the phone constantly. In fact, the only time I don't answer the phone is when I'm swimming in the ocean or I'm on a plane, a jet. <laughs> but we're here to help you. Just give us a call. Especially sellers, we can give you a free consultation, free evaluation of your practice. And we're here to share information for you, with you. Uh, especially if you were thinking about buying or uh, selling to a DSO. We have valuable information. Often our fees are paid by the DSOs, and we have our choice of DSOs. We're independent. We don't work for any DSO. Uh, but when you work with us and you're selling a DSO, often I can get your legal fees reimbursed at closing. Uh, so anyway, here's the topic today. So this doctor sold his practice two years ago, Okay. And now he's selling his second practice to the same buyers, all right? He pulled us in as the broker to negotiate in between, even though it's the same buyers. He says, I'm going to use the same contract I did last time in the same allocations. We're just going to change this purchase price a little bit. What's wrong with that? I don't want to pay for an attorney again. I'm just going to use the same contract. I said, because my answer was, you can't do that. The dynamics are different. The situation is different. Okay, you can't do that. First of all, every situation is unique. No two practice sales are the same. Every deal I've done for the last 11 years, each one is different. And he says, oh, everybody just uses a boilerplate contract. No, there's always a tweak on every different dental deal. So listen to this one. So he sells to these buyers. That practice he sold two years ago had some lower plan, lower, uh, you know, dental plans to it. Um, so its value was a little different. And the uh, office needed some rehabilitation. It wasn't a super walk-in condition. So dynamics are different. Now, it's a different story. He says, I want to use the same. I said, listen, it's different now because you have a CAT scan in the new office. You have a CRAC processing machine in the new office. It doesn't need as much renovations. And it's more walk-in condition. So the buyer is going to be asking for a little higher value on equipment that it comes to with price allocation. Price allocation is value of goodwill, value of the equipment, leasehold improvements, restrictive covenant, and, and et cetera. You know, now that old practice, they didn't, weren't as worried about restrictive covenant because there was a lot of so, lower socioeconomic plans that those patients... They're going to go anywhere, whether you're the doctor or not. So that's something to uh, take under consideration. Uh, secondly, you have this brand new or relatively new uh, CAT scan. I mean, that cost you 100000 even though it's depreciated. Maybe it'd still be worth 70000 or 65000 even though it's gone undergone depreciation. So it is something that you've got to take into consideration. You can't use, and the buyer doesn't want to use the same allocation. The buyer is going to ask for higher equipment value and a little bit lower uh, goodwill. 
Obviously, the goodwill is going to affect you because you're going to have to pay higher on the equipment value. But that's what the buyer is going to argue about. You simply can't take that old contract, substitute, change the numbers, and think, hey, everything's fine. It was a great contract then. It's the same buyers. I shouldn't have a problem. Every deal is different. Every contract is different. Even though they may have certain similar characteristics, they're different. Okay, the practice you're selling here has more PPO fee for service, where the other one was PPO low income DMO plans. It's different than this one. The buyer is going to have different requirements, even though it's the same buyer. So you've got to be able to keep your mind open. And yes, you're going to pay four, five, six, seven thousand dollars or higher for your dental contract. Dental contracts can range, you know, up to $50,000 when you're dealing with a uh, DSO. If you have multiple, multiple practices, it could be seventy-five to 100000 because it's so complicated, especially if you have six, six, seven practices and it's multi, multi-million. You know, it depends. Every deal is different. Uh, and there's a lot more work in one of those. But, but still, you have to be aware of this. You have to be knowledgeable of this. You have to understand what I'm talking about here. Spend the extra money. Get the dental attorney, even if it's the same dental attorney. Uh, do the contract right. Understand what you're getting into. Protect yourself. Um, and, and understand where the buyer is coming from, where the buyer is going to want a different price allocation possibly for this. Even though the majority of deals are based on the goodwill because it's the patients. But if you know you have some fantastic equipment, it may be worth more to the buyer and a little less goodwill. So be, be aware of that. And don't think you can just utilize the same contract. You don't know how many times they go over this with dentists. That when they deal with the contract and paying the attorney, it's such a small amount of money compared to the sale of the practice, but it's something I got to deal with on a day to day basis. But the right attorney can change everything. You know what I say? I've said it a hundred times dental attorney with experience doing two, three minimum deals a month and about at least 10 deals, at least 10, 12 deals a year minimum. You need that. You need an experienced dental attorney. It's going to make life better for everybody. All right. Um, so just just be aware of that. Get the new contract. Don't keep fighting everybody on it. Uh, we'll try to get the highest dollar amount we can for you. At the same time, get the best buyer because you don't want a buyer that's going to be a cowboy or cowgirl, or whatever. Give you a hard time after the practice. Start whining about remakes. Starts whining you don't leave 30 days supplies in the office. Uh, starts complaining about patients, bad mouths you to some dentistry, but you don't know that buyer may have not have known what uh, circumstances were you they you inserted a crown. Um, you know, you need the right buyer too. All these things have value to it. But getting back to the contract, yes, you need a new contract. Yes, it has to be allocated, possibly different. Keep your mind open to that. We'll help you along with this. All right. Dr. Gary signing off. If you're a, a large dental office and you want to sell to a DSO, please call us first. They'll often pay our commission. We're able to sometimes get your, many times get your legal fees paid. We have the choice of, a, uh, of DSOs to go to. And we've been doing this for 11 years. We simply have information about DSOs you will not find in the period. You will not find in uh, publications. You'll not find in public media. We simply know what's going on on the inside. We know what it's like to deal with them uh, on a day-to-day -day basis. So give us a call. Okay, thank you.